We have some news for you. We got a book deal. Your story's gonna be made into a book. What do you think of that? <laughs> Can you give us a woohoo or something? <laughs> <laughs> That's Miss Norma. Around seven months ago, when her son Tim and his wife Ramey explained that her story was being turned into a book, driving Miss Norma. I don't think she realized that it was going to be a powerful work that's going to affect and inspire people. I think she thought more it was going to be just a storybook of our travels and that's it. But boy, it, it turned out to be much more than that. It sure did, and there's a whole lot we can learn from one petite 90-year-old woman. You've got to start where Miss Norma did, by saying yes to living. She was diagnosed with cancer two days after her husband died. And um, we, we were faced with what many families are faced with. What do we do with mom now? She's a widow and she's sick. And um, we, have, we have some decisions to make. She decided not to have treatment and instead take her son and daughter-in-law's offer to travel the country together with their dog, Ringo. It was either a nursing home or like a lot of families do, they bring their, their loved one into the home and ours just happened to be a mobile home. Our house our had house, wheels. Our, our house had wheels. <laughs> and that led to the trip of a lifetime through countless states, meeting new friends along the way, on boats, in parades, basketball games and beaches. All those stops led to our next lesson. Find out who you really are, which is how Norma got the miss in front of her name. We knew that there was a 60 foot tall statue of the Jolly Green Giant in Blue Earth, Minnesota. Between kind of gut-busting laughter, I, I was able to get a couple photographs off. And, and at that moment, we realized that there's something in yeah. this, this wonderful woman that we've never seen yeah. before. Her personality sprouted there yeah. really good. <laughs> Just being herself showed her family a whole new side. And then if I had not taken her on the road, I would have not had the joy and privilege to get to know a really wonderful person who turns out is going to have an incredible impact in this world. I would have never, never guessed my mom had that capability or, or possibility or, yeah. Miss Norma may not be with us anymore. But she left us with this last lesson. Pass it on. She said, I don't, I don't need a funeral. Um, we don't have any room for flowers in, <laughs> in the motorhome. She said, but wouldn't it be nice if people could spread more joy and have an experience like I just did my last year? It's never too late to spread some joy and live life just like Miss Norma did. If you want to celebrate Miss Norma's life, a piece of cake, a piece of key lime pie, a beer, a beer. If you don't do beer, root beer float will do. She loves the root beer floats. Yeah. Celebrating life is on our to-do list.